and welcome to Upon Further Review. I'm Josh Aubrey. Plenty to get to in this week's show. We'll begin uh, over at J.I. Clement Stadium where the Georgia Southern Eagles were looking to run their win streak to four games to start the season. Unfortunately, the fog played a factor in their game with Georgia Tech and they ended up losing four to three. Uh, late in that game when they had the lead, Georgia Tech comes back to win. We'll send you out for highlights of that. We also have high school basketball state playoffs going on. Statesboro Blue Devils advanced to the second round. They had to go on the road to take on number one seed Buford on their turf, and it proved to be too much for the Blue Devils. They dug themselves an early hole and fought back hard in the second half, but it wasn't enough as their season came to a close. We'll send you for highlights of that. As for the Bullock Academy, Boys and girls, they opened up the state play this past week. The uh, Gators men were able to go down to uh, Thomasville and put up quite a fight against Shaquille O'Neal's son, uh, Shaquille O'Neal's Creekside squad before falling, finally falling in that one by 12 points. The Gators season comes to a close, but the Lady Gators, they're the sole survivor in uh, our area high school basketball as they were able to win uh, on the road, first off in Augusta Prep as the uh, number two seed, they, not, they won that game and then went on the road to Macon where they were able to knock off Tift area in the state quarterfinals. They've now advanced to the final four for the first time since winning back-to-back -back state championships in 2013 and 14. The Gators uh, taking on Deerfield Windsor coming up Friday night at 7.30 in Americas. We'll have Plenty of highlights from their games as well as others coming up in just a moment. And a reminder before we go to break, hopefully you'll never be in an accident, but if so, please give our friends at the Sullivan Law Firm a call, 912-489-8888 or online at thesullivanlawfirm.com. The Medical Center Pharmacy on Grenade Street is proud to be your Health Mart Pharmacy in Statesboro. The Medical Center Pharmacy, locally owned and serving this community for 50 years, is open 364 days a year. The pharmacists at Medical Center know there's nothing more important than your family's well-being. That's why they take the time to know their customers, explain their medications, and answer any questions. The Medical Center Pharmacy, your Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Trust your eyes to the team that takes care of the Eagles. Professional Eye Care of Statesboro offers a full range of medical eye care, in addition to a wide assortment of glasses, sunglasses, and contact lenses to suit your style. I'm Dr. Horace Deal. Allow me or one of my associates to provide you with comprehensive medical eye care, and we can help you select from a variety of glasses and contact lenses here at Professional Eye Care of Statesboro. Well, the Georgia Southern baseball team kicked off the 2020 season with three wins uh, over the weekend last week against Ball State. Then Tuesday they played Georgia Tech, went down to the wire before the Eagles finally fell 4-3. Let's send you back out for some of the highlights. A foggy night in Statesboro, Georgia Tech with a 1-0 lead, but Tyler Owens makes sure they don't anymore. Owens with the strikeout. Bottom of the third, Mason McWhorter lines one down the right center. Two run score and it's 2 1 Georgia Southern. In the fifth, Georgia Southern adds to the lead. Runner on for Austin Thompson. Chops one to the left side to throw off the mark. The Eagles take a 3 1 lead. Tech gets that run back in the sixth. Runners on for Stephen Reed, who sends one down the first baseline. That's trouble. The RBI single makes it 3 2. Georgia Southern able to keep it that way thanks to the defense. Austin Thompson with a diving grab at second. However, the lead wouldn't hold in the ninth. The game tied at three. Runner on for Michael Goldberg, who drops one into center in the fog. That's going to prove to be the game winner as the go-ahead run scores. Georgia Tech rallies for the 4-3 win over the Eagles. Well, the Eagles with not much success over the weekend at East Carolina, hoping to bounce back Tuesday night at 6 o'clock as they host Mercer. Stay with us. Women's basketball highlights coming up next. 
My Queensboro banker is Cheryl Quick. Blanchard Equipment Company has 16 locations. Queensboro has homegrown values just like us. They get heavily involved in every community. And that means strong customer service. They've been around a long time, just like John Deere. When you run across a bank like that, you stick with them. I sure would like to own one of these John Deeres. Well, we could sure make that happen. Oh, well. Queensboro is your community bank. Queensboro National Bank and Trust. One Eighty Fitness prides itself on offering the best facility, classes, programs, and staff in Statesboro. More than just a gym, they're a family. Knowledgeable staff always on site to help you. Free group fitness classes, over forty-five to choose from. Free supervised child care. Work out worry-free while they watch your children. With the new expanded weight floor, cardio equipment, and resistance machines, One Eighty has everything you need. The only gym in Statesboro with a sauna. The Evolve Training System offers both small group and one-on-one -on -one training to fit any budget. Located inside 180 is Statesboro's best kept secret, The Zone. The Zone is an inspiring community where you are motivated, supported, and celebrated through a unique fitness experience. With the use of heart rate monitor, you're able to train in your own individualized zone while tracking real-time results. The combination of cardio, endurance, and strength workouts will give you the lasting results you've been looking for. First class is free, your body, your zone, real results. Come see why 180 Fitness has been voted the best of the borough for the last 12 years. Well, the Georgia Southern women were looking to bounce back from a Thursday night matchup on Saturday, closing out their home schedule for senior night against Appalachian State. And they did just that. We're able to finish the things off in style. Let's send you out for some of the highlights. Georgia Southern hosting App State on senior night. Senior Alexis Brown for three. Brown later, same spot, three more of her 16 points. Next inside we go to Nikki McDonald for two. Pre Stanley answering for the visitors on the other end with the three ball herself. The Eagles right back, McDonald on the break for two more. Later it's Tatum Barber with the corner three. And then back inside we go as Brown drives in for two more. Eagles up by five. Barber next. Three more of her 18. And the Eagles roll 78-70. to Next up for the women, they will be at Texas State and at UT Arlington coming up Thursday and Saturday. As for the guys, they split at Texas State and UT Arlington. Lost to Texas State on Thursday. Beat Arlington on Saturday. Next up for them. They will be on the road at Georgia State coming up on Friday. All right, stay with us. High School Highlights coming up next. Family Internal Medicine Associates of Statesboro providing primary care for Statesboro area patients since 1998. Providing complete physicals, complete sports physicals, Medicare wellness exams, full diabetes treatment, and education from lifestyle changes to oral medications to insulin pump therapy, in-house dermatology, in-house circulation tests, and ultrasounds, and in-house labs. Featuring nurse practitioner Melissa Beasley, Family Internal Medicine of Statesboro can accommodate same day or next day appointments to serve your needs. Family Internal Medicine and Associates of Statesboro, where we care. A sports injury can stop you in your tracks. At Optum Orthopedics, our specialized physicians and staff use advanced orthopedic procedures with one specific goal in mind, to get you back to you. If you have a sports injury, request an evaluation. Experience the Optum difference.
Babcock, no credit refused isn't just an offer. It's a way of business and has been for over 100 years. No banks, no ridiculous credit requirements. Just local Babcock store owners who treat you right and give you credit when others won't. It's never been easier to express your style and love your home. Well, the Bullock Academy Lady Gators and the Statesboro Blue Devils, the only two teams remaining this past week in the state playoffs. The Statesboro guys on the road at Buford, the Bullock Academy uh, Lady Gators on the road at uh, Macon at Tattnall Square, taking on Tift area. Let's send you out for highlights of both of those games. Round two of the Georgia High School 5A state playoffs, Statesboro High on the road at Buford and the Wolves on fire early on. Sebastian August Dave with 20 first half points. The Blue Devils finding themselves down 28 to 3, trying to fight back. OJ Reese and next Jacoby Edenfield, and then it's Reese again, this time with a three pointer. But Statesboro in a big hole. Big seven footer from Buford kicking it out to August Dave for three more, and Statesboro trailed. 33 to 13 at the half. The second half, the Blue Devils come back. Leslie Black hits the long two and then off the miss. Black with the put back. And then more from Leslie Black is on the break. He finishes with the layup. Statesboro going on a 14 to two run themselves. Zarion Griffin penetrating and getting this one to fall. Later, it's Griffin spotting up and hitting the three. One of two Blue Devils in double figures, but the Wolves just too much as Statesboro Falls 54-34. The state quarterfinals of the GISA seeing Bullock Academy on the road at Tatnall Square taking on Tift Area. Early on, Abby Newton for three. Next, Tift Area able to counter, but then the Gators going on to run themselves. Newton going in for the easy two. She'd have 12 points in the first quarter alone, including this three. Gators on top. Casey Ricketts spots up. She lead all scores with 15 points in the game. Next off the miss, Ashante Nobles with the putback and the foul. The Gators continuing to pile it on in the first half. Newton hits this one off the glass. Bullock Academy up 33 to 13. More from Newton, this time the pass to Reagan Ellis inside for two. The Gators continuing to pull away up 40 to 20 at the half. Second half more of the same. Casey Ricketts hits the runner a little bit later. And Abby Newton underneath to Janabeth Marsh for the easy two. Next, a nice look inside to Reagan Ellis. The hoop and the foul. Ashante Nobles in with the rebound and the putback. And finally, it's Leah Williford coming up with two of her 14 points in the game, and the Gators advance to the Final Four, 69 to 43. And once again, the Lady Gators next up. They will be in the state Final Four for the first time since winning state championships in 2013 and 2014. They will be in Americus uh, playing at Georgia Southwestern as they take on Deerfield Windsor Friday night at 7:30. Well, that'll wrap it up for now. We thank you for joining us. Hope to see you again next week.